Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us for another video. Today we're wrapping up MCU Phase 2 with Ant-Man. I am looking forward to this one. I really enjoy this movie. It's got Paul Rudd. I think it's very, very funny. It was a surprise to me how much I enjoyed this, personally. Matt, do you have any preconceived notions about Ant-Man at all? Looks terrible to me. No. What do you think? This is the one I'm most excited about. Why? Because no one really talks about it, and I like Paul Rudd, so I feel like I'm probably gonna like it. I think that this is really good. Why do you think that it's gonna suck, Matt? So we got Iron Man, the golden boy. He's loaded. He's got a suit of armor and mini suits of armor that will just murder you at the drop of a hat. You've got Thor, strong as hell, noble, He's got the hammer! We've got Captain America coming in third or fourth. No. He. Number one. He's got a shield of vibranium. I mean, you're talking about some heavy hitters. Black Widow, she can just make you undress at the drop of a hat. You got all these heavy hitters, except Hawk Guy and Falcon Week. In comes Ant Man. It just sounds underwhelming. I'm not saying I'm not gonna give it a chance. I give all of these movies a chance, but it sounds underwhelming, folks. Ant-Man had to win me over as well. I, I'm not as against him as it seems like you are, but I was- No, 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 I'm not against him. I just, I mean, we're starting off on a wrong foot here. Yeah, it seems like your expectations are pretty low for this. Keep them that way, just go in and enjoy the ride. This is one of those types of movies, just let everything go and just kind of have fun with this one. It's my full intention. I really will tell you that even though there's been some that I have not enjoyed this series, it might be better than the Spider-Man trilogy. Maybe. Are you talking about the MCU being better than the Raimi Spider-Man trilogy? I said maybe. We're not done yet. There's still a long ways to go. Let's just slow down. Let's take it easy. <laughs> For those of you that I don't know, I'm a huge Raimi Spider-Man fan. However, if there was a, a trilogy, I like, if people are like, I like the Dark Knight trilogy more than the Spider-Man trilogy, I'll give that to them. I would be okay if it took 23 movies to be better than the <laughs> Raimi Spider-Man trilogy. <laughs> We're not done yet. The Raimi series was fantastic. Probably my top series, but this one, doing good as a whole. And I know the Spider-Man stuff gets a bad rap with, with the third one. You know, fair enough. Uh, I personally still liked it, but I get why people didn't. I love the Raimi Spider-Man movies. They did it well. All right, let's get into it. Ant-Man. Do it! Come on, I got popcorn. All right. Ant-Man, let's finish this up. The Pym Particle is the most revolutionary science ever developed. Help us put it to good use. That you turn me into your errand boy, and now you try to steal my research. If only you'd protected Janet with such ferocity, Dr. Pym. Ah! Easy, Hank. Cut it! <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, how's it grow, man? Oh, she left me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my mom died, too. And my dad got deported. Oh my god! But I got the van. It's nice. Yeah, right? Thanks. I'll just do like whatever's hot and fresh. Dude. Can I see you in the back, Chief? <laughs> Pronto. Baskin Robbins always finds out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dr. Hank Pym. When I took over this company for Dr. Pym, I immediately started researching a particle that could change the distance between atoms while increasing density and strength. Oh, I'm impressed. I'm also concerned. Imagine what our enemies could do with this tech. Mommy's so happy you're here, she choked on her drink. <laughs> Delightful. And he tells me about this girl, Emily, that we used to kick it with. It was actually the first pair of boobs that I ever touched. It's the wrong details. It's the wrong... It has nothing to do with the story. Right? That he's like this big shot CEO that is all retired now, but is loaded. Ask him, did Emily tell Carlos to tell you to get to me what kind of safe it was? And he says, nah, dog. All she said is that it's like super legit. All right, there's an old man, he's got a safe, and he's gone for a week. Let's just work with that. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait. Nice. There's no cash, no jewelry, nothing? No. It's a bust. Uh, uh, uh. You are on the ground! You are under arrest! No, I didn't steal anything! I was returning something I stole! Is Daddy a bad man? No. Daddy just gets confused sometimes, you know? 
I think I'm getting the hang of this. I'm controlling 247. He is not listening to you. Can't skill if the objects 50 times their weight. They build, farm, they cooperate with each other. I took on a young protege called Darren Cross. He's a big deal. Well, before he was a big deal, he was my assistant. And he became obsessed with recreating my formula. Are you trying to find my daddy? Uh, yeah, I am, sweetheart. Hope you don't catch him. <laughs> hey! <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> oh, you okay? Did I... Your mother convinced me to let her join me on my missions. Your mother, she didn't hesitate. And I spent the next 10 years trying to learn all I could about the quantum realm. You want to tell me what you want? I was hoping I could grab a piece of technology. It's really important to me that Cap never finds out about this. Over the top, don't you think, Darren? No, you can never be too safe. What? 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 Hey, little guy. <laughs> I have to be the one to do it. There we go. Are we the good guys? Yeah. We're, we're the good guys, man. Right? Yeah, we're the good guys. Feels kind of, kind of weird, you know? Yeah. But we're not done yet. <laughs> I want my daddy! I want your daddy too. When did this happen? Nothing's happening. Look at the girl I'm with. You know what I'm saying? She's crazy, stupid, fine, right? And the bartenders are all like, yeah, crazy, stupid, fine. And? What'd he say? He said, yes. This is an advanced prototype that your mother and I worked on together. We were working on it for you. Maybe it's time we finished it. Hey, Cap! This would have been a lot easier a week ago. We're on our own. Maybe not. I know a guy. Just finished Ant-Man. I forgot how much I enjoyed this movie. Specifically, I really enjoy the sequences in the movie. I think they're a lot of fun. And the movie is absolutely hilarious. Matt, what did you think? Matthew? <sighs> very, very, very good start. The opening really did well. Very funny. It was very Paul Rudd. The trio, his friends, loved them. I love T.I. Big fan of Tip. It was so cool to see him in it. I wish I... Honestly, I wish I would have seen him be more of a player in it, but it's all good, I'll take what I can get. Yellow Jacket. When he was in the suit, I think that it was a pretty intimidating villain. I think it was a good villain. That guy, you love to hate him. 
you know? Like he was a he was a really good villain that you just really wanted to see die. <laughs> Thought it was a good pun, pick on someone your own size. That was pretty good, yeah, right? That was, pretty good. that was pretty clever. I felt like it was funny throughout, like they kept a good, like they, they made me laugh many times. Pretty hard, that was, it was good. I have no business liking this, but I think the way they did it, they just did it really well and how he was shrinking and coming back to normal size and it was very, very well done. I am shocked that I liked this as much as I did. I don't think there was any bygone gem moments here. I really didn't pick up on anything where I was like, yeah, that's okay though. Not every movie has to have it, but it's just something to notice. And then lastly, the whole shrinking forever thing. It was a little convoluted, I feel like. It, it was kind of, maybe it was just tough for me to understand, but so I remember that his wife, you know, that's what happened. She was basically lost in oblivion. But I guess because I didn't fully understand what that means when it happened, to Ant-Man when he was able to sort of just come back to big size. So, you know, he just had that little disc and I know that he had those discs before he threw it through the plate glass window. I was just a little lost there. So I think a little bit of explanation might help me with that. As far as why he's able to get out of the quantum realm? Sure. There's two discs, one that makes you shrink and one that makes you grow. And he had, while he was in the quantum realm, still had one of the growy ones. So he just tried to see if it would work and it did. He put the little thing in his regulator, activated the growing mechanism, and he was able to grow outside of the quantum realm. Okay, okay, got it. I'm good with it, I like it. You've been really good the last couple of movies of suspending your disbelief. Yeah, you've been doing a good job, Matthew. And it's just interesting to me that that is what got you hung up. Not the, just in general, shrinking and growing and all of that, it was when he got caught in the quantum realm that that got you hung up. So what you're saying basically is the, the the really difficult thing to imagine was tough for me. Yeah, got it. What I'm, but now, you know, I'm really trying to go into these movies thinking this could possibly be happening somewhere. Something like this could possibly be happening. For me, that brings it that it is a reality somewhere, possibly. Does that help you process movies like this better? Trying to keep it in some way grounded in reality, even though to me this is just clearly fiction. But I think because you, maybe you're more of like a realist about stuff, it helps you be like, I can see this maybe happening, therefore I can accept the story that they're giving me. Does that sound fair? Yes, that's a good way to put that. About 20 minutes in, I was like, oh, I had higher hopes than this. But I really liked it. It had really well-placed humor. I actually laughed out loud several times, which Matt will attest to me not ever laughing at anything that he finds funny. I think my favorite scene was the train scene. Oh yeah. <laughs> when the train gets thrown up into the windowsill and it's just so anticlimactic. Mm -hmm. But they were in this like big fight scene. I thought it was really well integrated him, you know, being small and and then being big really quickly during a fight scene, that could have easily been not done well, but I thought they did a really good job. What did you think about the teaser, the end credit scene? Cause they, that was a pretty big teaser that they did. I actually think that was a really good teaser. Like I was very much like, oh, okay. <laughs> like it was a good one, it really was. I gotta tell you, this is a 10 out of 10. Are you kidding <laughs> me? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I would give this a strong seven and a half. I'd give it an eight. Um, I also just want to say, it didn't really feel like an MCU movie. No, it didn't. I'll, I'll, I'll take it back. When I saw Yellow Jacket, it felt MCU-ish. This, this style was more comedic, sure, but even like some of the action, like some, the action, I wasn't like, oh God, come on guys. Really well done. What I really appreciated about this movie is that whenever you're like given the task of making an Ant-Man movie, I feel like it would be very easy to just be like, all right, let's just crap something out and put it together. <laughs> but it really felt like, especially, especially the sequences where he's like growing and being with the ants and stuff. I just thought that it was really well done considering what they had to work with. I mean, ant man just like when we told you Ant-Man's next, you're like, Ant-Man, I have absolutely no interest yep. in that. And the fact that Ant-Man is a part of the MCU, obviously they're getting the MCU fanboys and girls to go watch it, but it's just nice that it's actually a good movie on top of, you know, on top of that. So they didn't just crank it out just to do it. At least it didn't feel like it. It felt like they, they 
worked pretty hard on it. In the first actual ant scene, I thought I was going to start getting really creeped out because bugs really creep me out. But they did a really good job. I think it was just that initial kind of shock of seeing all the ants and then I, I was good with it. It didn't really make me feel like I was going to be crawling in ants or anything. At the very end, when the little girl was feeding the ant under, I, I jumped. Also, I thought it was really funny that Falcon, he said, Ant-Man? Like, I was like, yep, right there with you, bruh. I know you didn't like Falcon in Winter Soldier and Age of Ultron. Did you like him more in this movie? I mean, his pa his powers are pretty pathetic to me. I just don't get it how he's <laughs> this. Yeah, I mean, an ant-sized person could disable him. No, but, well, no, no. Wait, and remember, he's not just an ant-sized person. He also has that increased like strength and yeah. density and stuff. So he, he's a lot stronger in that form. I wouldn't even give Falcon that much credit. Like, wow. he, like <laughs> all, he's a jetpack. Falcon does not have a superpower. He's got a jetpack that breaks all the time, then he has a new one every movie. That's the end of MCU Phase 2. What a journey. Phase 3 is longer than both of these phases, too, so it's quite a few more movies. God. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to take a break between Phase 2 and 3. We might do two or three movies between them, and then we'll get into Phase 3. There's a couple things I want to watch uh, before we get into it. We might watch Cats. I don't know. <laughs> That's my vote. Everyone vote for cats. Put cats in the chat. I just think it would be funny for us all to watch just an awful movie and just rag on it. Because I don't normally do that. I usually will give movies the benefit of the doubt. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like. It helps my channel out a lot. Consider subscribing if you want to see more fun content like this. Let us know down in the comments below what you thought of all of our opinions and what you think of Ant-Man. As always, we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.